Hello everyone and welcome to our tutorial series on creating materials in Blender using the Philogix PBR Painter add-on. In episode 1, we will guide you through the process of creating a realistic material for a Polaroid camera. In this tutorial, we'll explore the powerful capabilities of the Philogix PBR Painter add-on and learn how to leverage its tools to achieve stunning material effects. By the end of this episode, you'll be able to create a lifelike material that brings the Polaroid camera to life. So, let's dive into the world of material creation and start our journey with a Polaroid camera. Let's get started. The first step is to create a new Plex shader and select the PBR workflow, along with the necessary channels we'll be using. Then, I will switch to the Baking tab to bake the necessary maps. In the normal channel, I will activate Apply Bevel to soften sharp edges with a radius of 0.1% of the object size. I will also enable the ID map and change the color source option to Mesh Element ID so that the add-on automatically generates an ID map based on the elements of the object. Additionally, I will need an AO map, so I will activate this map as well. Now, configure some general settings here and click on Baking then wait for the process to complete. Great! Now switch to the Paint Layer tab. Double-check the baked maps using the View Mode option. This View Mode allows you to change the display of each map individually on the object. It's quite fascinating, isn't it? Now I will add a black background layer, covering all the details that are black in color. Since it's a simple color layer, I will create a new custom material layer. Switch to the base color in the edit channels bar here. This bar displays all the PBR channels of the selected material layer above, and when we select base color, we can customize this channel using the settings below. I will create a black color for the black layer by adding a surface layer to the base color and changing its color to black. And to control the influence of this black layer on the object, I will use the layer mask channel. In the Layer Mask channel, I will add an ID layer, which allows us to convert the color of the ID map baked in the previous step into a black and white layer, where selected color IDs will be white. You may notice that some color IDs, when selected, do not turn white in the ID layer. No worries, in this case, simply increase the tolerance parameter slightly. This parameter should be set at its lowest value, but ensuring that all the colors we have selected can still be recognized. Next, I will add a plastic grainy layer to the desired details. This material type is available in the Smart Material Library, so I will add a new Smart Material layer. Switch to the PBR channel and select the plastic grainy material in the settings of this layer. Modify the parameters of the smart material to make it as realistic as possible. And we also adjust the influence of this layer on the desired details using a layer mask, similar to the black layer. To further enhance realism, I want to add another layer of textured plastic. For this layer, I will create a new smart material to demonstrate how to create a custom smart material library for your own use. After creating a new smart material layer, we will have a basic smart material here. We will proceed to modify and customize this smart material. Click on the Open in Editor button here to access the node settings of the current smart material. Here, we can add various nodes to process image information, with default inputs being the current bake maps and vector of the layer. The outputs will be the desired PBR channels that we want this smart material to affect. Additionally, we can add inputs to the smart material to allow for external customization of the parameters. I will fast forward the process of creating smart materials.
So now I have created a new smart material with custom parameters here. Now, we can save it to the library in the settings section here. Additionally, you can also export this smart material and share it with others, or import a smart material from external sources using the export and import functions available here. Need to add color layers in the controls buttons. Pretty good. Now need to fill in the printed details, add a custom layer and add an image to the base color. We will download the image from the hard drive. To easily adjust the position of the image I will use the option UV projection by object. Now you have successfully learned how to create PBR material painting in Blender. By following the steps we covered, you can confidently create and customize various material layers, apply smart materials, adjust parameters, and utilize control nodes to achieve realistic and visually appealing results. Remember to experiment with different textures, colors, and effects to unleash your creativity and bring your artistic vision to life. With Blender's powerful tools and your newfound knowledge of PBR material painting, the possibilities are endless. So go ahead and continue exploring the world of PBR material painting in Blender. Happy creating!